Welcome back. We all know we should not go on public Wi-Fi, but we but all do, do we it really, anyway. We all do it. We're all like in a rush and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm like in a Panera and I really need to get this project out. I'm yeah. just going to use your Wi-Fi. Or I need to check my phone and I can't totally. miss a minute. Did you yes. know that 71% of us make our decisions about the hotels we stay at or the rentals we'll take based on the quality of their premium Wi-Fi? That doesn't surprise me because I usually ride JetBlue only mm -hmm. because they have free Wi-Fi and it's there really good go. Wi-Fi. So that's really interesting stat though. And 46% of us, you know, and I'm not big on the numbers, but yeah. I just think this is crazy. 46% of us can't go more than one minute without checking our phones. Ooh. Isn't that scary? <laughs> I, and it's, it's to scary. I'm totally in the 46%. I am too. I, I own it. I, I own too. it. Last week, just so you know, I had my like screen time out and it said, you were down 10%. You only had nine hours and 10 <laughs> And minutes. you were so proud. <laughs> I was so proud. I was like, yes, so, balance. <laughs> so with us today, we have the experts who are going to teach us how to stay safe and really enlighten us about a new technology that is going to change the world. We have from Guard Dog Solutions, Peter Bookman, the chief technologist, and Bill Flurry, the CEO. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. We are excited because I'm, as you I can see, so so this is Amy's this is so moment. What do we need to know about Wi-Fi? Well, one of the most important things to know is it was not actually intended for security. It was meant for access, for mm -hmm. convenience. So we've needed to add uh, after the fact technologies to secure it afterwards and, mm -hmm. and we keep adding to that we keep making it more and more secure but mm -hmm. that is why it's such a dangerous playground of sorts that we use all the time mm -hmm. but we're needing to add more security to that especially for everyone to use it all the time so you guys are like the bouncers at the club exactly or the guard dog they're yeah. the guard you're dog the guard, exactly. the guard dog in front but of also the mansion be, uh, be careful what you are asking for because as you approach Wi-Fi in our business, we have a call an evil twin. Mm -hmm. So as you approach a Wi-Fi and you try to get on it, the question, more importantly, is how do you know that's the Wi-Fi that you intend to target? I never thought of it. You know, I actually was wondering that one day as I was on, and then all of a sudden things started going haywire. So then I like shut off my computer and just was like, I better go somewhere secure. So can you tell me a little bit more about what happens during that process? Oftentimes, the hackers will come in and they'll mirror the name of the targeted Wi-Fi. So you'll have um, Marriott Premium mm -hmm. or Preferred or whatever, and then all of a sudden you're on the hacker's Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and once you're on their Wi-Fi or their networks, They've so got to speak, it they got gotcha. you. Yeah. You're doing the right thing, absolutely. If, if you run into, that's a real telltale sign, mm -hmm. and uh, we like sharing tips, but that's one of them. If you see a weird performance mm -hmm. thing, then it, you're probably attached to something that mm -hmm. uh, it's worth getting off of until you find one that is the right one. Mm. How do you tell? How can you tell whether, <laughs> let's say you're in a public place and something appears to be like, or, or even if it is just Panera, awesome Wi-Fi, like, is that safe? Uh, I would say no. We'd say no. And, and the sad truth is, within the devices ourselves, currently there is no way. Mm -hmm. uh, as Bill was describing, you will just have two with the same name at best, mm -hmm. but also how do you tell the difference between the name and the Namium plus premium or the name of premium plus free or mm -hmm. whatever else. So unless you have the ability to ask, to use like Panera, the, any services that are all over the place, mm -hmm. those are particularly tricky because there's no one to ask. So yeah. if you have more than one of a similar name, it's a really good indicator and it's really tough to tell the difference between the two. So that there are a lot of companies that claim to provide pr protection. I mean, everybody's figured out that this is just not an right. easy deal. But what is it that Guard Dog Solutions does that nobody else does? Well, Guard Dog today is positioned to create a major paradigm shift within the cybersecurity industry. Uh, the entire industry today is primarily defensive, uh, active, passive, but it's reactive. And we are the first to be proactive. Guard Dog Solutions, today with our patented automated threat response system, is the first so a solution, if you will, okay, to provide uh, preemptive threat analysis and analytics by which we can prevent the threat, okay, from creating the attack. Wow, that's so interesting because, like, I I thought the only way we could do it is go like this. 
You know, <laughs> just be like, tell I'm me, hoping it's better than that. I'm you hoping know, it's better than that. that well, <laughs> but really, like, how do you be proactive? How is that, how is that even possible? Yeah, we, we talk about uh, the, one of the things we all need to get educated about is that by the time an attack takes place, certain other things have already taken place. Mm -hmm. An attack is made up of other pieces. Uh, mm -hmm. We refer to those pieces as first a threat, which is where a vulnerability of all the things we do, a network or the device we have, is vulnerable to something, and the thing that it's vulnerable to is an exploit. Mm -hmm. So where we preemptively and proactively apply is if you can get to the exploit, then they can't ever get to the attack. Ah. And that makes it so that we are all safer, no matter what network we're on, no matter what Wi-Fi we're on. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, uh, to build on Bill's metaphor, you have your personal guard dog again that's on the outside of the wall and on the inside of the wall. And no matter what's going on, mm. it's going to uh, take care of bad behavior, the exploits themselves, allowing everything else to be great and what, safe. What does an exploit look like in tech terms? What are some things that are... Uh, there's, there's a... The, there's a database out there that's mm -hmm. public. It's the most known. It has 127,000 unique exploits. That's why it's so dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, why the security world, like you say, a lot of us have to take this approach of, oh, no. Mm -hmm. and, and why automation and AI play such a key role in mm -hmm. all of this. Because uh, most of us are not meant to know. I'm, I'm in the field, and I certainly can't tell you even how many families of exploits there are, or how many exploits are used to make up a given attack. Mm. Uh, but one of the things worth knowing is there's a lot of toolkits out there mm -hmm. that make automation of attacking mm -hmm. uh, very easy. Anyone mm -hmm. can do it yeah. uh, with a device, mm -hmm. whereas protecting is something that requires all this know-how mm -hmm. because there are so much, there's so much to know. Yeah. And we use countermeasures yeah. okay, to fight those exploits. Mm -hmm. And you guys are using AI in just the sleekest, most amazing way so you're actually the guard dog is super smart and he's learning what's coming in but I understand he's also figuring it out on his own and mm -hmm. that way you have a treasury or a library that just keeps expanding your capacity is that is that correct a absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. the the, a the AI is really special and we think that's a real part of that paradigm shift bills is talking about because Many of us have like an IT guy or IT firm or someone else. And so a lot of the, the dealing with the security issues to date involves people. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's not just, oh, I shut it. It's now I have to go have somebody take a look at it or, yeah. or what have you. So one of the major ways we use AI is just the automating of the processes 24 seven so that no matter what, every Wi-Fi network that GuardDog is protecting is 24-7 being able to automate the countermeasures and the protection and the watching of it without any people involved at all. Wow. And the other part is, as Bill mentioned, is the being able to do the countermeasures themselves to watch and learn what these exploits look like. So we're not just limited to the 127,000 known, but continually evolving what they might look like. So, so does this sit like on the Wi-Fi or is it like in the server or where, does the, where do you guys go? We, we deploy a device that's mm -hmm. right next to your existing wireless network. It's, okay. It overlays so okay. that it can be the guard dog for the existing space. I see. So you have the network and then you have the overlay piece that actually is able to keep everybody safe mm. and bark a little bit and bite sometimes. And the AI is in the cloud. That and guard dog is such a perfect name because you're right. Like they will bite back. I know. Which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you're focused right now on the small to medium sized businesses, but is this available at every level? Enterprise, small to medium, consumer. Where are you in the market? Great question. We are looking at addressing the enterprise market down road, and to address the consumer market through partnerships, and uh, where the consumers are already engaged with those with those partners. To, so they'll be embracing our technology within their platforms and then provide that level of protection in their Wi-Fi. So one of the things that's very concerning to our audience here in Laguna Woods is that security, right? You know, that nobody wants to put in their credit card information unless they know it's safe. And I think that's a very, that's very valid concern. So let's say someone here wants to purchase Guard Dog. Um, how easy is it? How much does it cost? And how would you go about doing it? So today, the uh, manufacturer's su suggested re retail price is uh, $199. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have two products in the marketplace today, Watchdog and Guard Dog. 
and those are available in 60 days. Excellent. Amazing. So we can be uh, some of the first to be able to preview this and early adopters Absolutely. and be the mm -hmm. safest. And so before we leave, what two or three things can we do, to Amy's point about Panera, <laughs> what can we do to keep ourselves safe? Well, I'd, I'd suggest two major things. One of them is we should always change our passwords from the default passwords. Mm. Uh, that's a commonly done thing. It looks super safe because it has some weird character string. Mm. And we don't even remember those anyway. So being able to change the password to something that's ours, but also one of the secrets is if you can add names, familiar names, like children's names, nieces, nephews, dog, cities, what have you, and string like three together, and then add like one, two, three at the end, uh, that's that's going to keep us uh, a lot safer. Really? And I, I had no idea. Dude, so sexy Jeff123 <laughs> will actually work? I'm going to go tell my Except husband. now. <laughs> <laughs> You've just aired it globally. It, it would have worked except for that, but I now. I'm going to go change it again. And, uh, but, but you can switch it around, meaning like Jeff is sexy as an example, uh -huh. because it's hard for the computer to guess strings of words, especially with numbers, mm. versus just a word or even a word where you substitute num numbers and characters. That's so good super, to know because I might be able to create something I could actually remember. Yes, yeah. and it's nice to know that mm -hmm. that actually will work at yeah. a security level. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the second thing? Uh, the second one we, we sort of already mentioned, which is it's worth asking. Mm. It's worth finding out and also be wary uh, to empower everybody here of the, if you see two with the same name, it's, it's best to probably wait or find another place mm -hmm. until you can see one that's safe. So if you see Panera that's you know, only one, you're probably good. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's worth asking, too. It's worth, if, if you can ask. Yeah. So and there might be know. a third that's uh, worth addressing also, because for those of us who have seen the Ring video that mm -hmm. made headline news, you may want to consider where you place strategically your cameras. Mm. And don't forget the smart TVs and your computers all have these video ports. Mm. So be careful what is attached to your home Wi-Fi. Mm. That excellent suggestion. Excellent. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure, and I, I need me a guard dog. <laughs> I have about 10 more questions that we'll talk about after this. But thank, thank you so you much so for joining much. us. Thank you. Ed, we'll be right back.